Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tech Support channel. Today in this video, we are going to talk about the compute instances in OCI Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Very important when you start journey with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So in this video, we are going to talk about the compute instances, what it is, what are the different things you need to create a compute instance. And we will look at a complete demo on how to create a Linux compute instance in OCI. So guys, before I start, I will ask everyone or I will request everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. So before we proceed, I also would like to give one useful information here. If you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder, one of the best service provided by OCI, that is a low level code development tool, which allows you to build web and mobile application. If you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder, you can buy this book, which is which is uh, written by me and published by Pact. If you are willing, you can buy this book using this link, https colon slash slash pact.live slash 3mwsnr7. This link will take you to the Amazon website from where you can buy the ebook or the paper copy of it. Okay, now let's get started. Compute instances in OCI, very first component of OCI, which you need to use. Okay, what is compute instance? OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, allows you to provision and manage the compute instances known as compute host known as instances that is compute host known as instances so basically if you have a requirement to create some kind of virtual machines or the your dedicated infrastructure to host your application your homegrown application then compute instance is the one which allows you to give the complete infrastructure wherein you can host your application this compute instance can be any Linux or the Windows of your choice. Whatever you want, you can go ahead and then simply create an instance and it will not take a minute or two to launch your virtual machine or the complete dedicated infrastructure for you. And everything is in hand of customer, okay? Once an instance is created, you can manage the complete life cycle of the instance such as you can stop the instance at any point of time you can start it you can restart it you can terminate means you can delete it completely when you don't need it and attach and detach the volume as per your requirement so the customer has a complete console from where customer can manage the complete life cycle of a instance any changes, very important, any changes made to instances local drives are lost when you terminate it. So if you are, if you want to terminate your instances, whatever changes you have done into your local drive, it will be lost when you terminate. But any changes saved to the volumes attached to the instance are retained. So you can use them for in another compute instance as well. Now, there are two types of instances which, which OCI offers as of now. One is called bare metal. It gives you a dedicated physical access of, for the highest performance and strong isolation. Means if you have a requirement to deploy your application from where you're expecting the high performance and you don't want this to be shared with other customer, then bare metal is the one which you will use to create or to host your instance. So this basically is, this bare metal is basically required whenever you have a requirement to launch your application, which requires a highest performance. Second is called virtual machine. So it is an independent computing environment that again runs on top of the physical bare metal hardware, but the hardware is shared across customers. The virtualization makes it possible to run multiple VMs that are isolated from each other. Virtual machine will be different, but the hardware will be shareable. 
Okay, VMs are ideal for running application that don't require the performance and resources like they don't require separate CPU memory, network bandwidth storage of an entire physical machine that cost you low as well. But bare metal is high than, higher cost than virtual machine. Because in bare metal, you are getting the complete dedicated infrastructure, but in the virtual machine, you are getting a part of the infrastructure. So when you need to, create an instance what all do you need one is the availability domain availability domain is nothing it is kind of a data center wherein you want to launch your instance ad means it can be any geographical location like your india data center like hyderabad or mumbai it can be in the unix sorry in the us region it can be in london it can be a european region whatever reason you want to opt, opt for you can do this that is called availability domain second is called virtual cloud network so whenever you need to create a instance you have to first create a vcn without it a instance will not create and the instance will be deployed under a vcn and under a vcn you have to create either private or public subnet wherever you want to deploy your instance Another is SSH key pair. If you are willing to create Linux instance, you have to generate the SSH key pair. You can generate it via some command line tool or via the puttygen. Or if you don't have it, you can generate it while creating the instance as well. But that is required only when you need the Linux instance. Tags are optional. You can tag your instances as per your requirement. You need the password, like if you are creating a Windows instance, then you need a password. Image, image is a very important thing. So when you create a computer instance, you need to select image, means what type of operating system you require. So this image gives you a predefined operating system. There are multiple images you have to choose from and it allow, it gives you a selected operating system and other software installed already on the operating system. And then, Shape. Shape gives when it, there are multiple shape you need to choose from. Like the, when you choose shape, you will be allocated the CPU, memory, and other, other stuff. So you need to choose this image and shape wisely that affects the cost as well. Now, how to create instances? So let's do a demo how to create an instances in OCI. Let me share my screen here and then we'll take you to this OCI screen. So here, first uh, on this uh, cloud dashboard, you click on a hamburger menu, click on a compute and click on a instances. Okay, when you click on a instances, so I'm in a free trial, my free trial has been ended, but that's fine. So here, if you have virtual machine, or any, any instance already, it will be visible here in the selected compartment. If you need to create an instance, you click on an instance and you can create uh, you can give a name of your instance, let's say demo instance. You can choose the compartment wherein you want to deploy your instance. That is important. When you create an instance, you need to choose AD. Okay. So you can click on an edit button. I am in the East, US East region. So it gives three AD, but sometimes there are other reasons like India, which have only single AD. So you will not have option to choose AD, but if you are in the region where, which provides multiple AD, so you can choose it widely. Like let's say I am choosing AD one. Okay. And then image and shape. Okay. Image and shape. I was talking about image. You can edit it image like your operating system and other operating system. So if you see image and the image is the operating system that runs on top of the shape. You can click on a change shape if you are willing to change the shape. Uh, that there are different, different image sources. One is called platform images, Oracle images, partner images, custom images, community, boot volumes, and image opposite. So you can choose whatever source you want to choose for your image selection. Okay, and then according to your image source selection, all the images will be populated. Like if you are willing to create Linux, you can choose the Linux, and then you can choose the OS version, or you can choose the image build. If you are willing to create Windows instance, you can select this Windows as well. 
Okay, but I am going to use this Oracle Linux select image. And then, okay, Oracle, Oracle Linux 8 shape. Okay, you can choose. So let me change this. Okay. Maybe I can choose that's fine. This. Okay, fine. And then you will be allowed to change the shape here. You, if you want to change the shape, you can change like AMD. We have the Intel, we have the Ampere, we have the specialty and previous generation. Intel, since I am using the pre one, I will not have shapes in the Intel, but I can choose the default one. Okay. VM standard E21, which gives you a uh, one or CPU plus six GB memory. Okay. So let me try to change the shape here. Let me see if I can Oracle. That's fine. Let me do the same. And the networking, another thing you need to choose like networking means VCN. So if you don't choose the VCN, it will create a new one, add it. So I have the VCN, VCN this one, and you can create a new virtual network. You can enter the subnet or seed also. So here you see, vcn and then you can choose the existing subnet so as i mentioned under vcn you have subnet like public or private if you are launching your instance in the public subnet it will give you a public ip and then you can use that inst you can use uh, your home network or your public internet to connect to this instance if you choose the public subnet if you don't have private subnet if you have a private subnet you can choose your private subnet as well but i have the public subnet so i will choose the same or you can create a new subnet from this screen and then it totally depends if you choose public subnet you want to assign the ip address or not so it can be updated later also so if you don't assign a public ip address you will not be able to connect this instance from uh, internet but if you assign a public ipv address means public address then you will be able to connect this instance from your internet this is the third option then add ssh key okay so if you are if you are creating a linux instance you have to generate a key pair you have multiple options like generate a key pair for me or upload a public keys if you already have the pub you can upload it dot pub file you can paste your public keys or no SSH key. If you choose no SSH keys, you will not be able to connect to this instance using SSH. So the best option is to generate a key pair for me, but recommended is to generate your own key independently and then upload it here. So you can save your public key, you can save your private key. This is important, this is mandatory. Let me just save private key. This private key will be used to connect to my instance and then you can specify the boot volume by default it creates a boot volume of 46.6 gb in size okay if you want to change it you can choose you can specify the custom boot size but that's fine i can change it later also you have the few advanced options like the management uh, perspective availability configuration and then oracle cloud agent so i am simply going ahead and then creating my instance so it will not take more than a minute out of capacity means okay let me change this image first of all let me choose 7.9 that's fine amd uh, Okay, maybe I need to select 83. Yeah, so AD1, I don't have the limit. So I have selected the 83 as a reason and then instance is in provisioning state. So here you see private IP address and other stuff. And here you, you uh, when I created this instance, I have chosen the assigned public IP. Hence, our IP has been generated. Let this instance be provisioned successfully. Okay, and here it is in the provisioning in provisioning in state. A private IP has been assigned from the VCN subnet, and then public IP. 
and you can see one or cpu 6 gp memory and it is in my ad3 and it is in my fd3 means fall domain 3 let this instance to be created okay in meanwhile let me show you my another instance which is up and running and if you want to manage the life cycle okay like is start stop reboot or the terminate you can terminate this instance okay so we have other options attached block volume attach vnic boot volume console connection run command work request so there are a lot of things which you can use to manage this instance completely so guys that's all about this uh, short video if you have any question you can post your questions in the comment section i will be happy to assist you and you can find me over linkedin Twitter, Facebook, you can always see my blog, https colon slash slash www.taxapparat.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.